because my next guest uh, is no stranger to designing adaptable policy for global markets. She was once an advisor to President George W. Bush. Uh, Pippa Malgram joins me now. Welcome, as always, to The Pulse. Thank Lovely you. to have you here. Um, part of uh, the reason that the IMF upped their forecast was because they see U.S. output as increasing, particularly with those tax uh, advantages being uh, continued. Is, does that ring true to you? Absolutely, and this is what I've been anticipating for some time. Mm. Uh, it, the U.S. is becoming more competitive as emerging market wages rise and U.S. wages have fallen. The relative competitiveness for the U.S. has improved. We're seeing a restoration of manufacturing in the United States. Even Asian companies are beginning to move facilities into mm. the U.S. So, yeah, I just think, you know, it's a restructuring of economies and people are figuring out how to get to the bottom line and be more competitive again. No, we are having an issue there with the uh, over here. We've got such an issue with austerity and deficit cutting. And yet in the U.S. we've got this 10% uh, plus deficit that doesn't really seem to be a big issue yet. Is that going to come back to bite the U.S. administration? Absolutely. Of course, of course. It is a big issue. Uh, it's interesting the way financial markets can only focus on sort of one thing at a time, Indeed. you know. <laughs> But the, the reality is that I think we're going to see in 2011 municipal defaults in the United States mm. where Local authorities will not be able to balance those budgets, and they will have to say, "We simply cannot pay you back." Maybe we can pay you back a little more, a little less, a little later, but mm -hmm. and not say we won't pay you anything. But you know, proper default. And how serious are defaults for the economy? Again, here in Europe, it's almost been like anything. Anything will be done to avoid a country agree, like but Greece I don't or think Ireland it will in default. And I think we will have sovereign defaults in Western Europe, in the sense of haircuts. Mm -hmm. You know, we'll pay you back, but a little less, a little later. Bottom line is the market is terrified of defaults. The reality is once they occur, it lifts the debt burden and by definition permits growth and inflation to occur. So we shouldn't be as afraid of the, def It's of a the buy default signal. as we are. When you default, you want to start buying everything in sight, right? You sell in advance of the default, you buy on the announcement. Indeed. Now, let's look at the corporates uh, because last year when we were seeing, uh, we were actually seeing very good results from corporates. Is that going to continue? Well, I think one of the biggest issues for 2011 is we're going to see a lot of corporates in their quarterly announcements. Announcements say we sold a lot of stuff, mm. but we lost money on the foreign exchange side because the market's going to swing back and forth between sell dollars, the Americans are going to inflate, buy dollars, the Europeans are going to default. And as we fly back and forth between these two options, that volatility is almost impossible for corporates to hedge properly. Mm. And so I think we're going to see foreign exchange losses that bite into. The performance of corporates. Right, right. Now, I would love to t ask you a little bit about uh, President Obama because um, he was very significantly wounded in the midterms, and yet he's made a couple of speeches recently in difficult situations that have made us remember that he is a great orator. Do you see a turnaround now coming up to the State of the Union address, or do you think he's going to? I, I appreciate your, your former role uh, with George W. Bush, but do you think that he is going to be able to do very much in the second half of his first term? Well, look, uh, circumstances are not good, regardless of who is the president. Mm. The presidency suffers from the condition of the economy. Indeed. So the real question is, can the economy recover fast enough to put some wind in his sails? Mm. I'm really quite optimistic about the condition of the U.S. economy. And I do think uh, that we're going to get a higher inflation rate uh, in the U.S., not in the Official numbers, but practically, we're going to find you know cost base is rising, etc. And this is a way of eroding the debt burden. Anyway, bottom mm -hmm. line is, I think that Americans are going to feel a little better off in the next two years. But is it enough to get him reelected? It all depends on who the Republicans field as their candidate. Absolutely. Now, just before we come to that, because I'd love to ask you about that. We did hear from the IMF that unemployment, which has been such a bugbear in the U.S. and indeed elsewhere, is not going to be shifted by this small uh, increase in, in, in global growth. That's true. And is, you think that that's going to remain a problem in the in the U.S.? Unemployment is a lagging indicator. Mm. It takes time. Uh, for the economy to generate new jobs. Uh, what's important is, is the question, A, is the innovation in the economy occurring? Are new businesses coming to life that will invent new 
ways mm. of generating GDP? I think yes. No, I can't let you go without asking you about who you think that uh, President Obama may be facing, because that's all important to see absolutely. whether or not he does get a second term. You know, well, I think that we still have to consider some of the dark horse candidates. I still think Mitch Daniels is very likely to emerge as a serious candidate. His background is all about budget cutting. Uh, and so that's going to have one sort of market impact. Mm. Uh, today, I think we had a poll out saying Mitt Romney wins the straw poll mm. for the Republicans. I guess in the end, I think this is the Republicans' race to lose unless something very dramatic happens that makes the economy much better, which I anticipate it being better, but not much not, better. Not, not good enough. Yeah. Pippa, it's always a pleasure to have you Thank on. You. Thank you very much for Thanks. joining us.